I get asked sometimes, how does environmentalism fit in with God? There have been some religious people who have been very anti-environmental consciousness and awareness saying, well, whatever happens is supposed to happen and the end of the world is supposed to happen anyhow, so maybe the sooner the better and that'll bring Christ's return. If the world um, goes down, then Christ will come sooner, so maybe we should just plunder the earth and use it up and destroy it and then that'll bring the new kingdom. I don't agree with that position at all. We were given this amazing planet in all its beauty to be stewards of it, to take care of it. We weren't given permission to plunder and destroy just ravenously, take it all and use it and abuse it in all ways. That is so not right. Instead, we're supposed to be the caretakers. We're supposed to we're allowed to use and enjoy. We're allowed to explore it and come to know it, but we're supposed to love it. As caretakers, we should be helping the earth be itself and even better. I know what you say, well, can one improve on the earth? Not very much, but sometimes we need to, like we need to grow crops and we need to do what we need to do to make our food supplies work and we have to cut trees to build houses and so we do need to do some of that but we should do it with the utmost respect and as in tune with the environment as possible we should use the forces of the earth and the sun to help in our building in our construction in how we are here we should leave as light a footprint on the earth as possible. We should use as little as possible of the resources and we should have renewable resources. We should love this earth as we would love a child of ours, that we want it to be able to be itself in all its beauty and we want to support it to be more and whatever we need to do that we would do it in a respectful and kind and mutually advantageous way. We are allowed to partake of the blessings of the earth. We couldn't live without them. But we need to do so in consciousness. So consciousness is what really matters. Now, many environmentalists have done a great job in raising our consciousness about the earth and the troubles we've brought to it and how we might do better with that. What's also needed within the environmental movement is that environmentalists raise their consciousness from just the material plane of this material planet, that they raise their consciousness up to the energetic plane too, because we actually can pollute this planet as much energetically as we can polluting the airs and the waters of the planet. What does that mean? It means if we are angry people and we are hateful people, even if we're fearful people and depressed people, we are emitting those energies into the atmosphere of the earth, into the communities around us, and we are doing harm. So I would like to raise environmentalism up to a consciousness about our energetic environment too, that we take good care of our energetic environment. If we love the planet, but we feel hatred and anger towards those who pollute it, then we're actually also polluting the planet. So that isn't the solution. We need to find ways to be at peace and forgiving and kind in all these various ways so that we raise all of the environment up, including the energetic environment, to a higher level of peace and consciousness. This is our challenge. This is our opportunity, our privilege to get to bring this to the earth now. I invite all of you to take better care of the earth in its material form and of the energies of the earth in that energetic form. You and I 
and others raising this consciousness together can make the difference. There still is time, but not that much more if we don't change.